Welcome to News Today with Universal Parks News Today. I'm Eric Morton, filling in for Tom Corliss while he's over in Paris. Anyway, here's the news for April 15th, 2022. Never go alone. The latest speculation map for Universal Orlando's Halloween Horror Nights 31 has just dropped. Thanks to HN Nightmares on Twitter, we have an updated map of potential houses, scare zones, and shows. As always, these maps are only speculation, very likely to change as we get closer to the event. The houses listed are as follows. Stranger Things, Dead Man's Wharf, Bug House, Universal Monsters, The Mummy vs. Wolfman, El Chupacabra, uh, The Horrors of Blumhouse, The Black Phone, and Freaky, uh, Underground Creatures, The Wicked Growth 2, Halloween, and The Weekend. The only scare zone listed right now was Scarecrow, and the only show listed so far is Marathon of Mayhem. Universal Orlando Resort has confirmed 10 houses, 5 scare zones, and 2 shows for the event this year. There have already been a lot of changes to this map. There will probably be many more. Uh, the trailer for Season 4 of Stranger Things did debut recently, and now it joins the list of potential houses this year while The Last of Us has disappeared. It also is exciting to see the Wicked Growth 2 added to the speculation map after being one of our favorite houses last year. In response to our previous article about international guests struggling with the new park pass system at Walt Disney World, Universal Orlando Resort uh, wanted to offer the couple free tickets to their parks. So in an email to WWNT, Universal Parks and Resorts Marketing expressed a willingness to provide the couple with a chance to have some fun at Universal Parks. The email read, in part, Orlando is too amazing of a destination not to give them the best experience possible and help them leave with a smile back home. Unfortunately, WWNT does not have the contact information for the anonymous couple, uh, but maybe uh, if you reach out to us, we could try to figure something out. Uh, for the short version of the story, a couple came here from Switzerland. They tried to get into the Magic Kingdom. They were refused entry. They couldn't buy a ticket, couldn't get a park pass. They resorted to begging, and, and uh, it all turned into a, a scene. It probably wasn't very funny for them, but I think people found interesting as a way to look at how this park pass system is affecting guests that come try to come to Walt Disney World. Georgia-based Fourth Watch Acquisitions claims in a lawsuit that they had a deal with Universal City Property Management, which fell through, according to Florida Politics. Universal later acquired the land, and some of it is set aside for Epic Universe development. Fourth Watch claims a deal was in place with Universal City Property Management for 135 acres of land north of the Orange County Convention Center for $125 million. Uh, they were going to develop this with some sort of theme park or attraction. They included a 700-foot tall dome, according to some accounts. Uh, but according to the lawsuit, the deal with Fourth Watch unexpectedly fell through weeks before they were supposed to close. Universal City Property Management then sold the land to Universal. Fourth Watch is now suing for $250 million. In preparation for the release of the new uh, The Bad Guys film, Universal Studios Florida has a new photo opportunity for fans. Guests can pose uh, for a photo with bad guys Miss Tarantula, Mr. Snake, Mr. Wolf, Mr. Shark, and Mr. Piranha. The movie comes out on April 22nd in U.S. theaters. Universal has pulled the film and others from the Russian market due to the current crisis in Ukraine. The photo op is set up in the kid zone across from Fievel's Playland. The film features the voice talents of Sam Rockwell as Mr. Wolf, Mark Marin as Mr. Snake, Anthony Ramos as Mr. Piranha, Craig Robinson as Mr. Shark, and Aquafina as Miss Tarantula. It's possible that some of these characters will have a short-term meet and greet, but Universal team members could not confirm the rumor. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter at the Universal Orlando Resort has recently added some plant-based offerings, so we decided to take a trip to the Three Broomsticks to try the new mushroom pie. It's a stewed jackfruit and mushroom pie served with cucumber and tomato side salad with lemon and thyme vinaigrette dressing. The meal cost $15.99, and our review can be found over on our website. Finally, after years of coveting the array of themed popcorn buckets at Universal Studios Hollywood and Japan, well, Universal Orlando Resort has finally debuted a new refillable minion bucket. The bucket is shaped just like a small minion, complete with the blue overalls. It comes with a removable strap so you can easily carry your new friend around the parks and snack at your leisure. The strap reads Universal Studios and is patterned with minions. 
His eyes move from side to side. You can bring the bucket back each time you visit the parks and get popcorn refills for only $2.19. Popcorn is accessible through an opening on the back of the Minion's head. The purchase comes with popcorn, but they serve it separately in case you're taking a bucket home as a collectible. We picked ours up at Toon Extra and a Toon Lagoon at Universal's Islands of Adventure for $25.99, but we expect to see them across the parks soon. Toothsome Chocolate Emporium and Savory Feast Kitchen at Universal Orlando Resort will have an indulgent new limited-time Easter milkshake available this weekend. The Easter Basket Shake has a light pineapple flavor and is topped with whipped cream, peeps, a chocolate passion fruit cream egg, and jelly beans. The top of the glass is lined with green dyed coconut shavings. Altogether, it looks like a treat filled Easter basket. The milkshake will be available uh, from April 15th through April 18th. Toothsome is located next to Hard Rock Cafe at City Walk. Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort is a great place for families to kick back and relax when visiting Universal Orlando Resort. With two pools, a bowling alley, a lazy river, and more, there's tons to do at Cabana Bay. If you're spending the day by the pool, the hideaway is a great place to grab a quick bite or a refreshing drink. The menu has a few unique items here, too, including the Honolulu Hot Dog. This is a pineapple bacon sausage with passion fruit mustard and lemon garlic sauce served in a no-mess sweet bread pocket with seasoned crinkle cut fries. The meal costs $9.49 and our review can be found on our site. It's time for another round of speculations, this time over on the West Coast. The latest map of potential mazes and scare zones for Halloween Horror Nights 2022 at Universal Studios Hollywood. Well, the speculation map is now available thanks to HN Nightmares. Again, on Twitter, we have an updated map for this year's event. The mazes listed are as follows. Candyman, The Evil Dead, La Llorona, Scarecrow, An American Werewolf in London, Universal Monsters, The Mummy vs. Wolfman, The Weeknd, Killer Clowns from Outer Space 2, and Terror Tram, Hollywood Harry. No scare zones are listed, and Jabberwockies is still listed as a potential show. Candyman is the latest addition to this map, replacing Nope from the first version. As a reminder, these maps are just speculation, so take it with a grain of salt. We took a field trip down to Hogsmeade to try the new Honey Mead drink, now being poured at Hogshead in Universal Studios Hollywood. Mead is an alcoholic drink of fermented honey diluted in water. As such, it can be pretty sweet. The drink costs $14, and you can read our full review over on our site. As guests prepare to enter the lower lot at Universal Studios Hollywood, now they can see the wait times for the lower lot attractions before they even board the escalator. The new screens list the rides contained in the lower lot area and their current wait times. This is a convenient feature so guests can easily see if their desired rides have wait times they'd be fine with. The screen on the right indicates the alternate transportation for guests using mobility assistance devices. It's nice to be able to see those wait times without getting your phone out. For more information on these stories and more, head on over to UniversalParksNewsToday.com. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to Universal Parks News Today on YouTube for more great content, click the bell for notifications, and make sure you hit select all notifications so that you never miss an episode of News Today with Universal Parks News Today. For UPNT, this is Eric Morton saying the future is whatever you make it, so make it a good one. From WDWNT, the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Park Center. Join us each week for news and discussion topics from the Disney and Universal theme parks around the world. We cover the top stories in a quick, concise, and fun format. Then our panel breaks down and debates some of the biggest issues and what they mean for us, the Parks fans. From the latest announcements to openings and delays to scandals and snacks and merchandise and more, we cover it all in 90 minutes. Join us live every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern on youtube.com forward slash WDWNT or watch episodes on demand anytime or subscribe to the audio version of the show on your favorite podcast app.